Hello there viewers, um, today we're back at it again with another microwave uh, magnetron failure. Uh, recently just got done taking apart uh, one microwave, just scrapping it. Um, I was going to fix it or uh, turn around and sell it, but somebody had already took off the uh, control panel. I don't know if it's from a note for another microwave they had or whatever, but it's awful kind of weird but the control panel was missing off of it and it was thrown out but I harvest it mainly because I'm after the uh, transformer and of course maybe the magnetron and some other components or goodies that uh, might be uh, left behind that they didn't want but upon uh, with this microwave this one was on there in there with it, it is a sharp carousel uh, nice little microwave it does work it powers on uh, and it does heat up, but there is an issue, and uh, as you can see here, it is absolutely burnt again. Uh, I've done a video on this with an Emerson brand microwave a while back. Um, now, I don't think this was actually the manufacturer's fault. Um, I say that because I think what's going on is there's people running these, uh, whether they have kids that are doing it or just they're, I don't know, they, they think they have something in there like a cup of coffee or something, a cup of water and they think that it's, they left it in there and they want to heat it up and they go to start it and turn it on and they walk away and not realize that they took it out five minutes ago and run the microwave without anything in it because when I run any with nothing, anything out of this like nothing in this microwave it'll start arcing up in here and inside the uh, magnetron the waveguide here but well as you can probably see here I got some water in there but it's sitting outside but I took a jar of water and I um, you know put it on for two minutes and it fired up didn't arc and it do anything and the water heated up so I'm not sure if this was a manufacturer's problem or a user error uh, somebody just running it with nothing in there or you know possibly they had some kids and the kids were messing around in the kitchen while mom and dad was doing something else not 100 percent sure but um as you can see here it has unfortunately burnt all the way through the top of that there if i can get my camera position there we go uh it's got some really bad pitting right there so we are going to Take this apart, see if there is any damage. I'm probably sure, pretty sure that the Magnetron is going to be dead. Well, not dead, but it's going to be heavily damaged uh, because of that. So, actually, let's, let's disconnect these wires here. Get that out. Try to... I just got some Loctite. I'll sit you guys down for a minute. Uh, there we go. And I think that's pretty much it for that. Oh yeah. That's no good. I am so surprised that this still works. Uh, which it does. Uh, now I did notice when it did turn on it would take a few seconds. Like how you can you can kind of hear it. The transformer turn on and then it kind of you hear like a... a almost like a buzzing noise when it does when the magnetron kicks in um it didn't it doesn't do that it actually slowly kicks in and then you know it it's running but uh yeah i'd say that is toast um i wouldn't want to use this unfortunately i'd wish i could but um i i would have actually could have swapped it out with another magnetron but um it, like I, you've seen in here, it damaged the paint. It's burnt the paint off, and it's damaged the metal, the housing. So even if I did fix this and get it, you know, running again, which I mean, it already was running, but um, it uh, it wouldn't really, uh, it wouldn't matter because it'd be too far damaged, and I wouldn't be able to sell it to anybody. Uh, now the brand of this Magnetron is I don't even know how you say that. Um, was that Dev Devu? De Devu? I don't even know how you pronounce that. It's some weird, some weird font. It's some Chinese 
thing. You can probably see here, China. I don't know. There's a number. I'm gonna see if the other one was the same name name brand. Um, the other one that failed, it it pretty much was the same way. It had burnt off just like this at the top, almost it almost identical, which is kind of weird. But actually, the piece actually uh, came off of it. But uh, yeah, like I said, this still works. It still it it just takes slower time. You know, a few seconds, twice about. You know, it usually takes about three seconds to start up a magnetron, and this one takes about six seconds to start up. So it's about half. You know, twice as slow. But yeah, so I'm not. I don't know. And if it is the same brand, then that probably means that this is just another, you know, everyday cheap Chinese component that's done failed because it's not properly, probably, you know, put together or something's, you know, not designed right. Or I don't know if it's just because maybe, you know, it could be a type of metal they're using, um, you know, like some kind of monkey metal, not some real genuine steel or aluminum grade or sheet metal, you know. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on it, but I do know uh, that this is not supposed to happen. Um, but yeah, but uh, that's pretty much concludes this video. I will be harvesting that transformer out here and all these other goodies that still work. This power filter, this fan, the capacitor. In fact, that's hilarious because this is the same capacitor I got. Out. This is this is a sharp. I remember I said this is a sharp carousel uh, and this came out of the General Electric one I just tore down so that's interesting oh so apparently they're manufactured by Baikal if I can focus in on that it's not gonna focus but I, I know this is a very popular brand um, used uh, mass-produced in mass-produced capacitors for microwaves and stuff uh, this was manufactured in June 2019. Uh, it was the date on the back on the sticker. I'm not sure the General Electric one I got behind me. I already done scrapped that. I didn't look at the date on that. But it looks fairly new. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, anyway, but yeah, but that concludes this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.